Kitralak has a pronounced analgesic effect, also has an anti-inflammatory and moderate antipyretic effect. After oral administration, the onset of analgesic action is noted after one hour. Respectively, the maximum effect is achieved after one to two hours. Indications Pain syndrome of strong and moderate intensity. Trauma. Toothache. Pain in the postpartum and postoperative period. Oncological diseases. Myalgia. Aphralgia. Neuralgia. Radiculitis. Dislocation sprains. Rheumatic diseases. How to use. Inside. Once or repeatedly, depending on the severity of the pain syndrome. A single dose is 10 mg, one tablet. With repeated administration, it is recommended to take 10 mg up to 4 times a day, depending on the severity of pain. The maximum daily dose should not exceed 40 mg. The duration of the course should not exceed 5 days. To reduce the risk of developing adverse events, the minimum effective dose of Kitralak should be used in the shortest possible course. Contraindications Erosive and ulcerative lesions of the gastrointestinal tract. Bleeding from the gastrointestinal tract in the past. Aspirin asthma. Hypersensitivity to non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Severe hepatic and or renal insufficiency. Hemorrhagic stroke. Confirmed or suspected. Hemorrhagic diaphysis. Hematopoiesis disorder. The drug is not used for pain relief before and during surgical operations due to the risk of bleeding as well as for the treatment of chronic pain. Special instructions. Before using the drug, it is necessary to clarify the questions of a previous allergy to the drug or other NSA ideas. Due to the risk of developing allergic reactions, the first dose is taken under close medical supervision. Don't use with paracetamol for more than two days. The risk of developing adverse reactions increases with the lengthening of the course of treatment and increasing the oral dose of Keterolac more than 40 mg per day. To reduce the risk of developing adverse events, the minimum effective dose of Keterolac shall be used in the shortest possible course. Side effects from the digestive system Often, especially in elderly patients over 65 years of age with a history of erosive and ulcerative lesions of the gastrointestinal tract, gastralgia, diarrhea, infrequently stomatitis, flatulence, constipation, vomiting, feeling of the fullness in the stomach, Rayleigh, nausea, erosive and ulcerative lesions of the gastrointestinal tract, cholestatic jaundice, hepatitis, hepatomegaly, acute pancreatitis, from the urinary system, Rayleigh, acute renal failure, back pain, hematuria, azotemia, hemolytic uremic syndrome, hemolytic anemia, renal failure, thrombocytopenia, purpura, frequent urination, allegoria polyurea, interstitial nephritis, edema of renal origin, from the sense organs, really, hearing loss, tinnitus, visual impairment, including blurred vision, frequency unknown, taste disturbance. From the respiratory system, really, bronchospasm or dyspnea, rhinitis, laryngeal edema, shortness of breath, difficult breathing. From the site of the central nervous system, often, headache, dizziness, drusiness, really, aseptic meningitis, fever, severe headache, convulsions, neck and or back muscle stiffness, hyperactivity, mood changes, anxiety, hallucinations, depression, psychosis, from the site of the cardiovascular system, infrequently, increased blood pressure, rarely, pulmonary edema, fainting, from the site of the hematopoietic organs, rarely, anemia, eosinophilia, leukopenia, from the hemostasis system, rarely, bleeding from a postoperative wound, Epistaxis, rectal bleeding, from the site of the skin, infrequently, skin rash, papura, rarely, exfoliative dermatitis, fever with or without chills, redness, thickening or peeling of the skin, swelling and or soreness of the palates and tonsils, urticaria, Stevens-Johnson syndrome, Lyell's syndrome, allergic reactions, rarely, anaphylaxis or anaphylactoid reactions, discoloration of the skin of the face, skin rash, urticaria, Pruritis, tachypnea or dyspnea, swelling of the eyelids, swelling of the tongue, periorbital edema, shortness of breath, heaviness in the chest, wheezing, 